Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a nested collection like this in React.js using Firebase. Here we have main collection. Inside the main collection we have one document, its name is language. These are all sub collections, okay. C, JavaScript and JS, React.js, okay. Inside the C we have an ID and inside the ID we have title and, and title value. And yeah, I am going to store value in this nested collection and get value in this nested collection, okay. Let's start. Here I already created a React project and also I am running this project. I am going to create a form. Inside a form, I am going to create an input and this is name and yeah, this is title. And after that, I am going to create a button and its name is add. Here I am going to add a break tag and yeah, here I am going to create an submit and here I'm going to pass the event and handle add and here I'm going to pass the event and after that I'm going to copy that function here I'm going to create a function and I'm going to get a event value and here I'm going to pass use prevent default okay prevent default after that I'm going to create a firebase so go to firebase dot google dot com and click get started and I want to choose this firebase dot yt in your case click this add button and create a firebase project okay when you're creating a firebase project you will get a code like this and before that you need to install this package okay so copy this and in my case I already installed that firebase and I am pasting that code inside this firebase.js file and here I want to here I want to import firebase and fire store ok and here I want to use a get firestore ok and here I am going to copy this after that I am going to create a variable and this is database and here I am going to paste that get firebase sorry get firestore and pass this app here and after that I am going to export this export this database and save this here I am going to copy this and after that I am going to import that here and paste it here and yeah I imported the database and after that I am going to create a nested function so here this is val here I am going to use doc to create a nested function it is a firebase symbol function it is also imported here after that I am going to pass that this database Okay, and we need to create a main collection name. We need to give a main collection name. So here, main our main collection name is blog. Okay, and our document name is post. And after that, we are going to create a one more variable. This is collection val. Sorry, here. I'm going to use collection. This is also a Firebase symbol to function. Inside collection, I'm going to pass this val. And also, we need to give a sub collection name. Okay, here I give feedback. I need to add this feedback inside a string. After that, I'm going to add value in this location. Okay, so here I'm going to add a sorry, I'm going to use this add doc. This is also a inbuilt Firebase function. It is imported here, and here I'm going to pass that collection and inside a title. I'm going to pass this input value. So here e dot target dot title dot value and save this. After that, if this Data is added. I'm going to display a uh, lot. This is added. Yeah, save this. And yeah, I'm going here. 
want to add database and click add yeah alert is displayed and click ok after that i am going here and choose the firebase database yeah here our blog is blog collection is created and inside a blog post is created and feedback is also i mean this is a sub collection inside a sub collection we have title and yeah value and yeah i'm going to add one more value here this is value and click add click ok here one more id is generated here we have value ok now we successfully added a value in this nested collection i'm going to get this value from this nested collection ok so after that here i'm going to create a const here get value inside a get value this is an async and here I'm going to get value so here const before that we need we are going to get this value in this same location so I'm going to copy that and paste it after this here const this is data here I'm going to add a avoid here get docs this is also a firebase symbol function here I'm going to pass this collection val yeah after that I'm going to push value in one state so here I'm going to create a const one state okay data okay and this is set data uh, after that u state is also initially it is an empty array I'm going to copy this I'm going to change this to get value after that to paste that set data here I'm to pass this get val I mean get value dot documents here I'm going to map this value okay. instead of map I'm going to create a bracket here this is doc and here I'm going to create a bracket and I'm going to spread this doc dot data and I'm going to pass the id also ok doc dot id and I'm going to call this function after this and yeah here I'm going to console the data copy this and paste it here and save this go here and right click and inspect go to console here we have value it's duplicating for a many time but we have two values value and database these values are printed yeah so i don't want to sorry i'm going to cut this i'm going to add this inside a user fact i'm going to render only once okay so save this yeah I'm going to refresh again here we have value it's printed only once ok so here I'm going to map this data after this here data.map val inside a div to display val dot title save this yeah here data is printed and i'm going to add one more value of something it's like that i'm going to click add and i'm going to refresh the screen here that value is added yeah yeah this is what i try to tell in this video bye bye